Dubai. What's on your mind? I'd like to talk to you. What about? Andy Marion. of yours, Eva Salick, sent me over here. Now, I'm not going to explain, but Andy Marion left you some money. That's all I came over here for. Hey, mister. I don't get it. This money, he didn't owe me anything he could pay back. Well, I don't know about that. You bought him his honeymoon. Yeah, I guess I did. But the money ain't going to do any good now. It's too late. Yeah, well, you fight that out with yourself. I was beginning to get tired of the whole thing. I knew from the start I couldn't buy anybody's way into heaven. I wasn't even sure Andy Marion would get a hearing. But I couldn't see anything wrong with paying a few people back for the hurt they might have felt because of him. It was his money, and he didn't need it anymore. But things were beginning to get sticky now. Eva Stalick, Andy's wife of one week, was missing. Detective Lieutenant Butter had me tagged as having a piece of the action. So I doubled back to talk to some of the people I'd been to before, people Andy had known when he was alive. The closest one was Paul Devinger. I found him at his father's waterfront stable. Get off my back. Get away from me. You saw Eva, didn't you? Yeah, I saw her. What did you talk about? We talked about pigeons. Queen's coronation. We planned a maid party. What's it to you? I'll tell you what's it to me. I'm on the run trying to spread a dead man's money around because I'm being paid to do it. And that's all I intend to do. Now one of the people I see is missing and the cops are leaning on me. I don't like it. And if you've got something I want it, now what did you and Eva talk about? Word for word. Hello, Evie. Hello, Polly. I got no see. I have been good. You? So, so? How about uh, you and me taking a walk down by the river? That sounds nice. Real nice. You sorry I came to see you, you? No, Paul. We used to be such good friends, you and me. It's all right, Evie. I saw her, Bailey. We walked along the piers and we talked. We talked about old times. For instance? For instance, she was underweight. She ought to take a little vacation. With you, maybe? Yeah, with me. Why not with me?
coin a phrase, I have the key to this whole thing right in the palm of my hand. Only one trouble. Somebody else has the lock. Okay, Hannah, let's review your spelling and punctuation. Client's name is Vincent Marion. He's an antique dealer here in New York City. Started out as a simple job. Marion's brother was killed by a hit-and-run driver. He left five things behind. $9,000, a small pocket Bible, a photograph of himself and a friend I haven't been able to locate yet. He's the one in the devil's outfit. As far as I can tell, it's tight casting. Item four, his name, Andrew Marion. Item five, my friend needs to fill the Yankee Stadium. His brother Vincent hired me to spread the $9,000 around and buy Andy's way into heaven. That's the way he put it. Buy his way into heaven. And how did I get a load of this progress report? Pilgrim did better. I've been fired by the man who hired me. The local police was before I left town by the next plane. Mandy Marion's young wife of one week was pulled out of the East River with six bullet holes in her. Name was Eva Staley. I figured to have a talk with Paul Devinger first thing in the morning. I wanted to know what he and Eva Staley argued about that night in the roof. There were a half dozen other streets I could have walked to get to my office, but somehow I found myself on the same one that Andy Marion had died on. Maybe it was the wind coming up. The neighborhood is just the mood I was in, but I began to feel what Andy might have felt. I could almost hear the roar of that car, see those white hot headlights stabbing out at me as I crossed the street. After that, I tried to sleep, but it was no good. I knew Devinger's ice house would be open for business early, so I headed over that way. The sun was just breaking on top of the East River when I got to the stable. Eva's dead, Bailey, I know. The police were here. What did you tell them? I didn't. They told me Eva was murdered, they said. Did they know you had an argument with her up in the roof? Look, Bailey, Eva's dead. Like Andy, she's dead, finished, over with. All the talking in the world isn't gonna bring her back. Now leave me alone. What happened up there, Paul? What did you fight about? Andy Marion, that's what we fought about. That's what we always fought about. Look at him. The last ice man. My old man. That's the way to be. Half blind, deaf. That way you don't see, you don't hear, you got a maid. Why couldn't you believe things the way they were? Everything was fine before you showed up. Was it? You hadn't seen Eva in almost a year, isn't that right? Well, how could I with that kid of his always between us? You say you loved her. Yeah. Yeah, I loved her. What do you think? You don't want to know what I think. New York to Italy to Holland, Paris, and back to Devinger's ice house, the brass ring. For the first time, I had a personal stake in this thing. A very pretty girl with deep green eyes was lying in a hospital bed trying to stay alive. If the payoff wasn't rigged someplace in this ancient waterfront ice house, the marathon would be over. And if I was lucky, I might walk away from it after it was all over. If you want exercise, why don't you peek in that sarcophagus over there in the corner and say hello to an old acquaintance? Please, feel free. I insist. I believe you knew Paul Devinger. As for his aging father, I've permitted him what is left of his life. For the moment, at King Tut, decent of you. His name is Paul Devinger. His father owns a stable. He tried to raise Marion's rent. 